Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. I'm so glad you dropped by today. Um, a friend of mine that I go to church with, she had tagged me in face on Facebook with a recipe for caramel pecan brownies. Well, it gave one recipe above the picture and a website you could click on to get the full recipe. But when I clicked on the web link, it gave me a totally different recipe than what was above the picture. So, we're going to make the one that was on the web link. And I think I've got everything down here except for my baking dish. I always manage to forget something. So, let me grab a baking dish and some nonstick spray and we'll get that done and we'll get these started. Grab some nonstick spray. We'll give this dish a good spray. You don't want these to stick. All right, we got that sprayed, so we're just going to leave that sitting there out of the way. So, let's get you down here where you can see what I'm going to be putting in this bowl. Let me grab some glasses where I can see what I'm doing here. All right. We're going to mix the first one, two, three, four, five ingredients in this whisk and kind of whisk them together. It calls for two-third cup of all-purpose flour, three-fourths of a cup of cocoa powder, one cup of granulated sugar, A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. All right. Now then, we're going to sip these together. Make sure there's no lumps. Don't want lumpy brownies. Bunch of lumps in that cocoa, but there generally is. Gotta get all them lumps out. But good thing is they just break up. Alright, we got that all mixed together. So let's throw this stuff out of the way. All that back. Let me grab a whisk. So we can whisk it a little bit. And to this, we're going to add two eggs, I should have set these out to get room temperature, but I didn't, so hopefully it won't, <gasps> Woo! helps if you don't drop the whole egg in there. All right, let's get those mixed up. And it calls for one stick of unsalted butter that's been melted. We're going to mix this up. I'm thinking I need a spatula. Instead of that whisk. We're doing that. Thank you. 
know about y'all, but I'm thinking that 9 by 13 pen is too big for this. Because that would be some awfully thin brownies. So I think I'm going to get a different dish. be awfully thin brownies. So, this is an 8 by 8. Somewhere on here it says. If I can get it right. If it says I can't find it, that's what we're going to put these in instead of that 9 by 13. Because I don't think... I'm thinking... Yeah. Because that's all there is to that browning batter. don't know that I've ever made homemade brownies. So, I don't really know. So this is just going to be trial and error. Brownie batter sure is thick. This is going to bake in the oven for 15 minutes. Then we're going to take it out because we're going to make a sauce here in just a second with half and half cream and an 11 ounce bag. Let me just say what size it is. I know there's a size on here somewhere. Where is it? Well, we're going to be using some caramel bits. Oh, there it is. Nope. It just says four servings per bag. Well, they sure don't put the size on here easy enough for a body to find it. Oh, there it is. 11 ounces. We're going to use this whole bag. Okay. We got these spread out. About as thin as I'm going to get it. And about as even. Because we don't want lopsided brownies. Okay, I think that's good enough. So we're going to put these in the oven for 15 minutes and let these bake at 350 degrees. Oh, shoot. We're going to take that back out of there before it gets too hot. See, I knew I'd forget something. I added the eggs and the, the butter, but I forgot to add vanilla. Thank goodness that hadn't baked yet. So we're going to start this all over again. And I'll spray this again. It calls for one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm guessing that's about one and a half. Now we're going to stir that in there. Well, that loosened that batter up a little bit. 
All right. I'll try this again. Spray it again. I don't want them to stick. All righty. Now we got everything in there. All right, now let's spread this back out. We're gonna try this again. Now that spreads a little easier too. I think that's about good enough. All right, we'll try this again. That's with vanilla. Let me wipe the edge of this bowl off. I don't have a, anything burning. Now we're going to put this back in the oven for 15 minutes. Reset that timer. All right. Got the timer reset. Got everything in there that's supposed to go in it. So now, I'm going to clean up my mess, and I'll be back here in just a little bit, so don't go anywhere. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this caramel sauce made. I've got a third of a cup of half and half cream in the pan already. And we're going to add this whole 11 ounce bag of Kraft caramel bits. I had them in the freezer, so I had to let them set out all day and kind of thaw out. So, let's get you up here a little bit closer. And I've got this on a low heat. And we're fixing to take these brownies out in just a few minutes, and then we're gonna pour this caramel sauce over the top of it. And then I've got two-thirds of a cup of chopped pecans. Once we pour this over the top of the brownies, then we'll sprinkle those pecans over the top of this and put them back in the oven for another 15 or 20 minutes. Now, I cannot stir with my left hand. I just can't do it. Let me get like this. It's starting to melt. Because they're starting to clump up. We want this sauce creamy and everything melted.
to me, these are going to be kind of like a turtle brownie. With the caramel and the pecans on them. I'm going to take a little wooden spoon and poke some holes in the tops of those brownies if they're done enough. Grab a pot holder because I'm fixing to take these brownies out of the oven. This is just about melted. Let's see if we can poke some holes in this. Whoop, nope, not done enough. Yeah, I probably could have. stay. Let that burn. Don't do that. All right, we're going to turn that heat off. Now we're going to pour this caramel over these brownies. And get this in my right hand. I'm glad I did go ahead and put this in this smaller pan. Scrape all this out. Don't want to leave none of it. Got all that scraped in there. Now we're going to um, sprinkle these pecans on the top. Comes all over my stove. All right, back in the oven for 15 more minutes or until dinner.
think I'm going to set that timer for 17 minutes, just in case, and then I'll check it about 15. So we'll be back in just a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. All right, I just took these out of the oven. I'm going to put you down here really low to see if you can hear those, that caramel just sizzling. Let's see if you can hear it. I don't know if you could hear it, but it is a bubbling away. I think I'm going the wrong way. Nope. Try and tighten this tripod thing back up. But anyways, so these are going to have to cool off completely before I can cut them. Hair's a hot mess again. I got to do something with this hair. But anyways, they got to cool off completely before I can cut them because right now they are bubbling hot. So... Um, when these cool off, where I can cut them, then I'll come back and I'll taste just a little piece of one. I can't eat very much because I am diabetic, but I will taste just a little piece. You can't make something like this and not try a little bit of it. But So stick around because we'll be back. Okay, <laughs> now you can tell me how it was. They're amazing. Everybody, Amazing. thumbs up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Everybody likes them. Leah, you want one? No, I don't like pecans. Oh, that ain't even. She don't like pecans. They're really sweet, but they're good. All right, I can. Well, I'm eating all of it.